I am 24. Found out my daughter isn't mine, and I'm soon to wed my fiancé. 25F. About a month ago, an old friend of my fiancé came and told me my daughter might not be mine. One year, she told me Sarah, fiancé, fake name, confessed to her shortly after finding out she was pregnant that it might not be mine, because at the time she had been sleeping with one other guy. Now that we are going to get married soon, she just couldn't keep this to herself and felt the need to tell me. Well, I obviously didn't take the news well, because everything she said contradicted the person I knew for five years, faithful, honest, and loving. However, that doubt didn't go away, and I ended up going through with a paternity test. I'm not her father. As you can imagine has broken my heart. I'm still coming to terms to the news. It explains why she suddenly got pregnant, despite the protection I was using. But I just assumed things happen, and it is what it is. Abortion was out of the question. At this point, I'm not sure where to go in life. The wedding is two weeks away at this point. Family is coming. Everything is paid for, my daughter. Who I love, turns out, isn't mine at all. And I've been raising someone else's kid. I'm about to marry a woman who I can't bring myself to look at anymore. I'm at a loss. I'm not sure what advice Reddit can offer, but I don't know who else to turn to. Edit. Thank you for all the advice, good and bad. Different perspectives offer some insight as to what I can do. Even the ones that didn't help pointed out what I shouldn't do. All I know is, I have loved this woman and her family. The last thing I want is a nuclear option. There's a lot to consider. I have two weeks at this point to decide what I want to do. I'm heartbroken. I don't want to necessarily think with my emotions alone. Rather think this through as I make another of my large life choices. I'm currently waiting on the results of a second paternity test, just to confirm the results of the first one before I make any kind of jump. If you still have any additional advice to offer, offer away. I'm still catching up on messages. There's so many, and I'm taking my time to reflect on each one. Update. I'm sure people would like an update and a somewhat of a conclusion to this hurdle in my life, but here's what happened. I read everyone's advice, and a lot of it was very helpful, while others, not so much. Some going as far as to consider murder. Yeah, not on the table. But for those that did offer genuine advice, thank you. After getting the same result with the second paternity test, I talked to Sarah and a lot of emotions rolled out. How could an old friend betray me? I wasn't sure if it was or wasn't yours. I'm sorry. How could you not trust me? She was all over the place. After she calmed down, I got a few more answers out of her. Turns out it wasn't one guy she was sleeping with, rather a total of three, and they wore protection too. But someone got unlucky and knocked her up. At this point, I should have been furious, but somehow that didn't happen. I had grown numb to the whole situation. So yeah, I decided I don't want to go through with this marriage and put everything on hold. I plan to eventually cancel everything. I called my parents and explained what was going on. They were shocked. Then her parents, same reaction. I was surprised with how understanding there were to the whole situation. Like I said, they're great people. Their reaction only reinforced this. Luckily, the wedding was within driving distance from all attendees, eight hours being the longest drive. The amount of fallout was minimal, apart from my and her parents. No one else knows what's really going on other than the wedding is delayed. Regarding my daughter, I've come to terms that she's not mine, and any feelings I have towards her were built on a lie. It's not too late to start over. She's still young, yeah. She won't remember me. As painful as it is, I can't see my life continuing with her. So to wrap things up, I've moved out for the time being to have so space. My parents said I could stay with them until I can sort things out, waiting on the results of an SD test. Should be coming in tomorrow. I've talked to a lawyer and she said it's a pretty messy situation. But if we can find out who the father is, it could very much help my case. I don't know any of the possible fathers. 
but her friend instantly knew two of the names. As for the third, she wasn't sure, but knew someone who might. So this is where I am, still not sure where things will go and what will happen, but I can only hope for the best. Life sometimes takes a dump on you, but you don't realize it till one person spills the beans. Thanks Reddit for the help. I wish I could tell you I'm looking forward to a happy ending, but it's too soon to be sure of anything.